Excellent. So welcome everyone. And thank you for attending the Hey, 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 Hey webinar with Chris Johnson and myself. Um, we are recording now and I'd like to say if you could just turn your microphones off and have them muted until such time as we start asking the questions. Um, you can have your camera on because we love to see your face. However, if you take us to the bathroom, please make sure that the camera is off. Also, the mute is off, <laughs> um, unless you want to share a lot of other extra private stuff with us, <laughs> uh, which we don't necessarily need to see. Anyway, I'm not going to continue any longer. I just want to say welcome and thank you for your time because, you know, time is very precious and we spend a lot of it on the internet. Uh, listening and and learning what I heard last night, I think from uh, Red or uh, Marcy, because they run into each other, is about learning, plugging in, getting to know your fellow uh, founders. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, it's it's really important, and that's how I learned a lot. That's how I learned a lot about on passive. Was I just turned up and I just listened, um, and one of those. One of those things is that I've only been in, it's coming up this Sunday for one year anniversary for me. And I know for Chris Johnson, it's one year this year, uh, sorry, this month for him as well. So, you know, you can learn and you can plug in and you can um, get to meet a lot of amazing people. So thank you for turning up here tonight. I know we have quite a lot on here. So I'm going to get started with our first question. Chris, do you want to run through the rules? Just um, who wants to put up their hand or? Okay, yeah, let me tell Bill Musk, Bill Musk, I'm not making you laugh. Go to bed, it's 2.30 in the morning for you. Here's the rules. The rules are fun, the rules are safe. I'm also gonna put out, I'm gonna pick someone on here and uh, it's gonna be Janet Butler because I never get to pick on Janet, an LC member, a very secret LC member. Janet, you're gonna be in charge of when you start seeing people get bored, you got to come out and make some kind of funny face, some crazy noise to wake us up. That's going to be your job tonight. All right. And you know, I fire a lot of people, so that's on you. Norell has got, I think, 25 questions and they're about everything, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Norell? They're about everything, right? There is a, yeah, there is a mix of, of things. So you need your thinking caps on. Some will be easier than others. So and with my beady little eyes here, my squinty little eyes, I'm going to watch for hands. We'll do it a couple different ways. First, mm -hmm. it's just going to be raise your hand on your screen. So the first hand I see, that's going to be the first one. No prizes. The prize is your founders, and you already won already. So that's the good thing about it. So, Norell, you ready? I certainly am. So trivia questions come on down. So number one, what is the O product? that Bill Must is doing in videos right now. What is the O product? Pam Turner. O oh, bless. O oh, bless is it. Can you tell us a little about O oh, bless in, in 25 seconds? <laughs> oh, I'm so good with words. Okay, if I dilly dally, I can make it for the 25. Okay, that's 25 <laughs> seconds are up. Thank you very much. <laughs> o oh, bless is going to be the most fabulous crowdfunding platform that's ever existed and it's 100% giving to the charity of of your choice and they will take nothing and die. beautiful thank you so much and yes obless is an amazing platform uh, I just want to say that Bill Must is doing some amazing work with those um, videos uh, there are a lot of founders who are actually recording uh, their feelings and, and story around Obless and sending it through to Bill. So if you have anything you want to say or you're really, really passionate about Obless and want to share that, uh, just ask for Bill Must's email account and um, we can send you information as to what you need to do for that. Uh, okay, question number two. Now, this might be a little bit hard because I know that a lot of Americans get this wrong. So what is the capital of Australia? See, the hands didn't go up that quick Eric. this time. Eric. <laughs> you have to unmute, Eric, sorry. No swearing. Sydney. No. That's and it wrong. You got to buy us a position, Eric. That's how it works if you get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you one, you buy me one. How's that? Emma, there you go. Emma. Uh, Marty. Emma. No, got to raise your hand. Marty. Bruce Ben. Hey, 
Brisbane? Yeah. No. That's um that's a major city in Queensland where I live, but no, it's not the capital of Australia. Body. Canberra. Canberra, that is correct. That's where all the politicians um, hold their big meetings. So it's only a fairly small place. They called it like uh, you, you come in one way, go out the other. Uh, it's like a big circle around, um, you know, the Canberra politics political place sort of thing but yeah bomb could do real well about now down there but we won't go into that <laughs> okay thank you so much for that one a little bit about australiana now get your thinking caps on again and think big what is the biggest animal in the world oh my god it was a tie between lisa and marty so i gotta go with ladies first lisa jane go ahead The, the blue whale, is it the blue whale? It's a, it's a big whale anyway. It is, and it is the blue whale. It's actually the Antarctic blue whale. And can anyone guess how much it weighs? Marty. 300 tons. And the, what I got from here, Marty, was 400,000 pounds which is approximately the same as 33 elephants. So that is one big whale, <laughs> one huge whale. So was he wrong or was he right, Norelli? Well, let's just say he was half right. He was half because right. Because he said it in tons, so I'm not going to do any conversions <laughs> right now. Dan, does anybody, where's Dan Steele? He'll know that answer. <laughs> do, um, I don't know whether you have whale watching over there. Do you have whales? Yeah, that's that's 200 tons. 200 tons. Close. I told you. Yeah, what's it in pounds, Dan? Well, uh, a ton is 2,000 pounds and 40,000 divided by okay. 200. Okay, cool. So 200. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for expanding that out. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, so do you have whale watching over there? Like, do the whales come past your country? <laughs> Not in Michigan. No, they do oh, better. Right. Than, well, they, they wouldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't feel very well in Colorado. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Their tails no, get just, stuck between the mountains. <laughs> one of the big tourist things over here in Australia is whale watching down the east coast of Australia, so Queensland uh, into some of New South Wales. But uh, it's a big deal. It's a big tourist thing. You can go, well, you can go out and um, watch the whales. And they uh, breach not far from the boat that you go out in. So it really is quite an amazing um, sight to see. So when you were in St. Andrews, too. Was, so, was that Janet with a funny sound? <laughs> no, she's quiet, mate. She's got a cow sound or something. <laughs> oh, look out. It's a cow horn. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a white whale over here called Migaloo. And the, um, they go up and down the coast at certain times of the year. So, okay. Now this one here is for you US people, I think. <laughs> in the state of Georgia, is that in the US? Yes. Yeah, I thought it was. In the state of Georgia, it's illegal to eat what with a fork? Marty. It's illegal to eat what with a fork? Marty. A peach. No. Key. Fried chicken. Yeah. Ooh. Can you believe that? Are you guys really weird or something? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's illegal to eat fried fried chicken with a fork. Come on. Because it's finger looking <laughs> good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A bit like that's what KFC is, isn't it? Is Rules that what you rule. call Kentucky fried chicken? <laughs> Rules nice. is real. All right, hands down, okay. key. Hands down, key. There you go. Go ahead, Narell. Okay, number five. What country was Canva founded in? That's C-A-N-V-A. Canva is a platform where you can go and do uh, posts for um, your Instagram or Facebook. It will be taken over, I presume, uh, by uh, which O product? O. O pair. Uh, Ode? No. Okay. Let's try. Oh, You're yeah. muted. You're muted. 
Don, you got to raise your hand. Onet. No, Onet is the um, <laughs> Facebook platform. So it's the social network. Oh, connect. Platform. No, I connect is Zoom. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trevor, go ahead. Trevor Pierce. You guys are, you are all confusing me. Okay, sorry. Oh, um, post. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So the question okay. was, what country was Canva founded in? And I asked also a double question in there. I do apologize for the confusion. And that was what, it, what is going to take over in the NLO products in on passive from Canva, which is a place where you can put together posts to go on Instagram or Facebook. So it's not what's taking over Facebook. It's what's taking over from Canva uh, or will eventually take over from Canva. So, okay. So uh, you all got, okay. Uh, let's see, Trevor, I'll start with you again. Yeah, I said, I'm not sure about the country, but that O post will be the on passive product that will reign supreme. All right, you're half right. Don McIntyre, go ahead. I um, initially thought O Pier, but possibly O Connect. And Willow Griffin. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build up my confidence. You got good confidence. You can You're do that here, Dawn. Definitely. Yeah. It's built Will up real quick here. I thought Will it was so good. You read the, did. You read the question. <clears throat> Who did the question right? was the question was what country was Canva founded in? Now, Canva is a platform where you can build posts, you know, put the nice things up. You see me do them. Um, Canva is that uh, platform and I want to know what country it was founded in. However, I also added in a second question, which was what product in on passive will take over or what products will take over from the Canva platform? Janet. On passive. Janet. Yeah. My, oh, my turn. Um, it was, it's, it's from um, Australia and um, and I was thinking Odit as well, but doesn't seem so. Maybe it's all captured. I think, um, okay, yeah, I think Willow said Odit, yeah. Um, I and I think the other say, one is Opost. However, I think, I, think, um, Narelle, I think it's safe to say any question that Narelle asks is going to do with Australia tonight. I'm pretty sure we're <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I had these ready for last week. I had to go back over them thinking, oh, gee, I've asked a lot of questions about Australia. But anyway, sometimes you need to know and sometimes you don't. Um, but I can't make it all about American when I am Australian. <laughs> so, um, because I don't know if they're right or not, some of those questions. So. But anyway, I think, um, I think Janet got it right. We, um, Canva was founded in Perth, Australia in January 1st, 2013. So it's a bit sad that we'll be kicking them off the platform. But anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so here's just a bit of a trick question. What can be broken but is never held? What can be uh, broken Eric, but is never Eric, held? Eric. A promise? That's it, Eric. You're Ooh. the winner. You get to buy Chris another position. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'll buy it I, under myself then. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we need to fire a couple of other people up. So I think Janet must be um, yeah. just about ready to do her job. I'll ask one more question and um, just give me one second because I did this last night and guess what? I didn't check it this morning. So who knows? to the nearest 10th, I know mathematics, but it's not that hard, what the founder total is at present. And don't- Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Jane. 
No. No. Shoot. Uh, Holly Cherry. Unmute yeah, Holly. Oh, sorry. Okay. Last time I checked, it was 963,000 something, something, something. <laughs> I remember it's 960,000 and 100 and something. I don't know. I can't remember. That's close enough, Polly. It's uh, 963,116. Oh. Yay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to okay. let me throw one question in there. Are you ready yes. for this one? Yeah. Someone tell me the name, and Marty can't answer this. Someone tell me the name of one of Marty's dogs. Marty, I said you can't answer. Dan, you can't. Answer. Okay, I'm going to give it to Dan. Go ahead, Dan. Cooper. Give me another one, Dan. What's that other one's name? Anyway. I'm asking you that. <laughs> oh, his Marty. Name, his yeah. name is Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say. Yeah. It's the one Marty hates. I don't know. <laughs> Don, get the other one. Don, go ahead. Don McIntyre, your hands up. Okay, I'm sorry. I never hear about Marty's dogs. I just hear him yelling at his dogs. <laughs> but I do, I do hear about parrot. I do hear him talking to his parrot. And I do hear about the grandkids, and we see the grandkids, and I hear about his lovely wife, Dawn. So that's all that matters. Hey, Dawn. Do you, <laughs> hey, Dawn. Do you know what, whether Marty's um, bird is male or female? Oh, no, no. I just asked you a question. Um, <laughs> I, I, I am guessing male. <laughs> Okay. That's a pure, that's a pure gas. That's a pure gas, Norel. Because, okay. because um, this parrot was really good at at repeating really wonderful greetings, which is a female aspect. But uh, you know what? Why? It could be a male parrot. Because it's what? Marty, Marty. Marty. Mar look, Marty don't know what it is anyway, Don. He, he was just showing us. <laughs> yeah. It it was a um it was a story that turned into a um yeah, let's just say one of those that you had to be there. But Dawn, thank you so much for answering uh that. And um I've never heard him talk about the dogs either, except uh oh, shut up, get out of here. You know, I will, I will tell yep. you the parrot's name is. Sydney. You are correct. Sydney. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought it was shut up myself. I love female Sydney. Or female. Spelling. You can not send helpful. a feather in and they'll tell you if it's male or female. Sure. <laughs> if it's got something to do with a magnifying glass. It's turning into one. Hey, Janet, Living in Marty's Janet. house. So it has to be male. <clears throat> That's testosterone city. <laughs> <laughs> I think a my, I think gendered parrot. You oh, had to get Willow going on that, didn't you? Yeah, no, nah, nah, not me. Anyway, we're ready for the next one. Which country consumes the most chocolate per capita? Which country consumes the most chocolate Key per capita? Wendell. Key Wendell. Germany. Uh, next, Carlos. Carlos. Uh, USA. No. Thank Polly. You Thank you for trying. Polly. Canada. I don't know. I'm in Canada, so Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you eat a lot of chocolate, Polly? Not really, no. UK. No. <laughs> That's why you got it wrong. <laughs> Eric? UK. No. I'll say Switzerland. You're correct France. again, Eric. Oh, my gosh. Eric. Switzerland. Yeah, you can imagine that. They'd have the most beautiful chocolate on earth, I'm sure. Susan, why would you say the UK? Because Bill Must is here. Is that why you said the UK? Because um, the, 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 uh, uh, the royal family, 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Excellent. All right, hands right, down. So, so who is who is the top? Who is at the top on the leaderboard, and how many do they have? within, you know, give or take 10. So who is the top on the leaderboard? Don't go looking it up. You should know. It's a pretty easy I, one. I'm going to say... Uh, no, you're well, not you're saying, not saying anything. anything. I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to guess it. I'm going to... Willow already had her hand up, and then she, when you gave her the second part, she went, oh, I don't know. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to call Marty on this one. Uh, Marty should know. Marty, stop yes. looking it up. Yeah, what Marty, no cheating. What did I tell you about cheating, right. Marty? <laughs> yeah. Look at him. And you're muted, so you're disqualified. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on another screen. Sorry. What now? Yeah. What, was the, what was the question? And Who's Dan, at the top of the Dan, leaderboard? Dan oh, uh, Mike Williams. And how, how many? Mike Williams. Uh, stop looking. Within, within, you know, 10. The 10, 2,500. 29. 20, 2,560. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. 2,565. <laughs> <laughs> 2,565. 2565. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a, yeah, what a powerhouse. Hey. Narelle, hold on one sec. Susie Wong, if I know you have a hard time hitting your hand. You just scream. You make a noise. And if I see you first, I'll get you, okay? Go like this. <laughs> no, you just you just make a noise, Susie. I'll hear you. All right, hands down. Hands down. Okay. Holly, Wayne, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne. Chris, you'll have to answer this one because I think I know it, but I was scared I was going to put the wrong answer in. What is Chris's son's name? What is Chris's son's name? Oh, just told me. Yeah, no. I, I was like that too. And I, then I thought, was it this or that? What <laughs> Listra? What letter? Listra. No, no hint. Jonathan. Yet. <laughs> Jonathan. Nice. Well, that's his last name, of course. Oh. Joy six. Jacob. Nope. Good try. <laughs> it's close, Joyce. I know. Uh, Kevin Rutledge. <laughs> you're muted, <laughs> Kevin. You're Is muted. It Jordan? No, that's his wife's name. Harry, Harry, Blueberry. I'm going to say Chris. No, heck no, I wouldn't name my kid after my silly name. <laughs> Trevor Peters. Is it Shane? No. Do I look like I live where Dan lives? No, not Shane. <laughs> uh, Cedric Flowers. Wait, hold on. Let me mute. Cedric Flowers. Joey. You got it. What is it? Joey. Joey Lawrence Johnson. Joey. Joey. So it is actually Joey. It's not Joseph or, or short. So you or see, I knew it was with a J. Yeah. <laughs> no points for that. Sorry. That very, very close. <laughs> I thought it was a J too, and I actually had forgotten. So All right. let me get the Thanks hands everyone. down. Here. Hands down. Lower hand. Okay. Now this is a real hardy, but it's not. <laughs> Does Ash Mafara have any social media accounts? Oh my God. I, uh, key window. No. Yeah. And do you can, you, can you share with somebody, Key, just about why that is? Like, if you know, like, is there a reason why or what's wrong with, you know, the ones that are there? Well, I don't think he likes what social media platforms that are out there do i uh, don't believe he believes it i know he, i know he doesn't like facebook um and doesn't like the way they manipulate people's data and sell their data so um, I, I do believe that the only ones that he may come on is youtube 
um, I, I, I am on Instagram as well uh, as myself for my book, but um, we also have a Aussie Girls uh, Instagram account, but we see that there's a lot, and I'm not quite sure, Marty, whether these need to be, they're not doing anything wrong, they're just using his name. You know, it, there's um, especially one that is definitely Ash Mafara. Um, you don't mind if they go under GoFounders or on Passive something or things like that, but the ones that use actually Ash's name and they're not real, um, that's what I'd like to find out. So if you could just ask, ask Ash, what does he actually have? So um, he, he had the, his tech team put an account in all the social media. He just doesn't run it. It's not him personally. Yeah, okay. But they, they do have a footprint in Twitter and Instagram yeah. and as far as on passive goes. The Instagram accounts that they put up or the posts that they put up are really quite amazing. They're very professional looking. So, um, yeah, I just um, want people to know, though, that he doesn't really have a social media account. So if you think that it's him that's saying, hey, you know, I love you, hearts and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wasting, <laughs> you're wasting your it, time. He'll never it's see not it. Ash. Yeah, he'll never That's see correct. It. Don, do you have something to add to that, Don? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Um, I am very engaged with Twitter and LinkedIn, other than Facebook. And it's, it has actually been said to us over and over and over again. If we go to um, even GoFounders, I believe that we have access to the official um, links to social media or on passive.com. We definitely have the official links to the social media accounts that are run for Ash by his team. Having said that, um, uh, I really find for myself, um, LinkedIn is far more professional. I, I don't trust Facebook anymore. I don't do Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a lot of followers in Twitter, but still that's iffy. Um, so I'm just looking forward to ONET and what that's going to bring to the table. That is just, to me, uh, I spent so much money learning how to do social media years ago and built a following in so many platforms and it's obsolete. It really is. What happened with Facebook the other day, it, you know it's obsolete. So um, I'm looking forward to ONAP and um, I guess that's my last word. That's oh. it. Thank you, Dawn. And and yeah, you're right. Onet is going to be an amazing platform. I'm looking forward to it too. You know, um, if you've been anywhere on Facebook for many years, I've been there since 2007 on Facebook and have had, you know, many followers or had many people. Then I let a few go because they, they become obsolete in a sense. Um, but Facebook, we've, we've all had enough. Now, it depends on how much time you spend there, you know, but you're right, you know, um, and Marty, I heard your um, video last night, I think I was listening to it, about um, the amount of cost, you know, the amount of money to set up to actually capture leads and, you know, doing Facebook ads and things like that, which don't necessarily work. They don't guarantee you, you know, there's no guarantee if you get one or you get none or you get 100. You know, but you're spending your hard-earned money, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which they already make millions and billions of dollars, um, to run a little ad, a little piddly ad for dear old Narelle Walkon or, you know, dear old Pam Turner, sorry, Pam with the old part, um, <laughs> you know, for Lystra, for Wayne Dockery, and you're running these ads, you know, and costing hundreds of dollars to actually have no guarantee, you know, to have a company that goes to work for you, to have a platform of, of ONET. And I think I noticed on one of Patty McGuin, McGuin, McGuigan, McGuigan, thank you very much, Key. Um, you know, his, his actual statements around, um, uh, now I've lost it, 
see, that's an eight for you. Anyway, it's um, it's a costly event. And I think that um, not only ONET, but OConnect, you know, we're all just sitting here patiently waiting so that we can firstly trial them, you know, and see what they look like. Um, and then just, you know, once you get that excitement back because you can see and feel and touch, um, that makes a big difference. So. So thanks very much for bringing that up, Dawn. Yes, we are all waiting and waiting patiently. Um, so the next question we go on to is, what is the new name of the Monday's Q&A? Marty. <laughs> Roundtable. Oh, yes. Mirelle, why don't you just say it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Everyone knew that right? one. You can, tell, I thought, you can tell the people that go to that one on Monday, they all jumped out of the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's like it's good to see who's awake and who's actually listening because um, sometimes it's hard to change over from, you know, the Q&A, as we're used to calling it, to roundtable. So, um, Muddy, is there a reason why it was changed over? Can you explain that to the people? Yeah, Ash said he'd rather be called uh, roundtable. He doesn't like Q&A. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. All righty. So question number 13, what is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Key Wendell. Beer. No. Boom, boom. Thank you for party. coming. Oh, God, it wasn't beer. Um, coffee? <laughs> no. I would have thought that too. But Eric, no. Coca Cola. No, thank you. Dan for Street. Trying. Water. Oops. Dan oh, Street. Hands up. Manufactured. Uh, bottled water. No, sir. William DeLorme. For trying. <laughs> William? William, you there, buddy? I was going to say Coca-Cola, but I, that's not it. Well, say another I thing, William. Uh, okay. So what is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Harry. Most consumed. Harry. Uh, uh, okay, how about, uh, what's that, power drink or something? No. Thank you for trying, William. Harry. <laughs> And it's not marshmallows. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, like, uh, the energy drinks. The, but uh, I think I'm out of, no. like, the monster and all that, you know? No, well, they, uh, I think you're drinking it right now, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it's better than Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say wine, but no, it's not that. So, no, I I what about tea? Willow? Red Bull will give you wings. You're muted, Willow. Put your hand up, guys. Willow. Willow, you're on mute, darling. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Well, okay. I'm a tea drinker. I was going to say tea. But... Well, you are right, Willow. Yeah. Come on down. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Get, you get to buy Chris another position. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I drink tea so much I use loose leaf tea. So I, I kind of thought, well, maybe that's not fair. You're talking about, you know, manufactured, but it is manufactured. It's not, yeah. uh, it doesn't have to come in a can, you know. No, I drink tea also, Willow. And um, <laughs> years ago, you know, even as children, mum and dad always had a pot of tea with the loose tea leaves on the, um, on the table, you know, with yeah. the pot, um, teapot cozy and everything on it. And we even drank uh, tea as children you know not you too, young, you young but you know from about sort of 10 onwards I suppose so my mother was Irish and she put milk in her tea yeah we we have milk in our tea too I don't have sugar but um we certainly have milk our dairy farmer's daughter here so <laughs> my Native American uh, father would not touch it no no I don't know how people it tends to um you have to have good quality tea to drink it black that's right yeah, because otherwise it leaves, um, you know, your tongue stuck to the top of your mouth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I reckon, right. I reckon everyone should know this one. Okay, so thank you, Willow. T is the answer. 
What is the name of the Female Leadership Council from South Africa? Dan Street. Marina Favitt. Yeah, see, I told you, it's easy one. I, I swear <laughs> I thought you were going to say Charles. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris. Where's Charles? Yeah. Where <laughs> I've got a really, really hard one. Hi, Tiana. How are you going? Um, okay, so this is difficult, but it's not difficult if you think about it. So what does OTP mean? So to finish creating your account, you need to confirm your email, which will be verified by OTP. Janet Butler. One time password. Oh, okay, smarty. Or passcode. <laughs> password, well, Which yes. is it? You got to give us the correct answer, Janet. One time passcode. Right. It's password. Oh, let me mess with her, Marty. I don't password. get to mess with her. <laughs> okay, it's time for you to mess up with somebody, Chris. You want me to ask a question? You can ask a question. That would okay. be lovely. Throw one in there. Where, and one person can't Excuse answer this. Where does me, Janet Maria? Butler? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Lisa. Chris, before you go on, I see that. Um, Chris, I'm I see that um, the questions is the question is not yet asked and and people are already raising their question is not yet asked and people are already raising their hands. Yeah, they like to. Can you can you please speak some people that have not answered the question? They like to. That's because we have slow internet, Nancy. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see. Nancy, you're breaking up horrible. Chris, can you, oh. can you ask a question? That can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear? Yes. Okay, what I'm trying to say is this. You guys are picking the same people to answer the questions. And, and the other one is, um, when the question is not yet asked, I see all their hands are up. This is not fair. Can they put their hands down, please? I put them down. So that after the question is asked, then they can raise their hands. But don't pick the same people. Well, if, even if they ra raise their hands up, try to pick somebody new. Okay, that sounds fair. Nancy, this question's for you. You ready? <laughs> you ready, Nancy? This one's for you. You ready? How big are Marty's okay, I'll feet? try. How big are Marty's feet? Marty's feet is uh, seven feet. No, no, his foot, his two feet. How, how, how long is his feet? He probably does have seven foot feet. Shoe size. So, Shoe size I, yeah. I said seven. Um, so size, size yeah. uh, 14. And size. I'm going to give it to her. Yeah, I'm going to give yeah. it to her. I think it's triple E or something like that, which is the uh, week. It's You might as well just say water skis. <laughs> Elephant feet. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. One day you're going to find out personally. <laughs> Marty, we're just from the Hobbit yes. family. <laughs> I got big feet too. <laughs> okay, Chris. I know that everybody wants to put their hands up and everybody probably knows, but maybe you should pick the person that hasn't actually All answered. Right. I will try to do that. I'm just trying to go for the first one, but okay. Oh, yeah, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no question. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Name five, five of the products that can be seen on the onpassive.com website. Name five of the products. And no, Kevin, you don't get to answer. He's only got one hand up. I'm going to pick somebody. Yeah. Polly Cherry. Okay, five cheating. products on. Look at the camera. The... Look at me. What? No, I'm not, I'm not a cheater. Just on so you know. Five, five products that you will find on the onpassive.com website. 
on the unpassive.com website. Okay, so oh bless. Uno. Um oh connect. Oh geez, why am I blank? Hold on, don't tell me. <laughs> Sorry, time's oh, up. Wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, there's no time limit. Oh bless. Hey, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. You give up? Oh, I thought you told me I can't answer anymore. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm giving you a free ride. Let's go. Just got, playing with you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I said, oh, bless. I said, oh, connect. Oh, shop. Oh, post. And uh, oh, dip. Very good. Well <laughs> done. I think we should call somebody else for that one as well who hasn't yet answered anything. Yeah. Tina. Unmute, Tina. Tina with the uh, bung eye and the missing tooth. Hey, Tina. Um, the, eyes all, the eyes all good. Uh, it's just my mini that's uh, still the end and the tooth, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me, let me try it. The one on, on, the, on the website is O Academy, O Staff, O Sharp, uh, O Bless, and O Tracker. Beautiful. Thank you. Very good. You think we should do one more? Yeah. How about we look over? One, 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 one more would be, oh, oh, one more person or one more for me to answer one more? No, no, no. We'll just go to somebody else and ask an, another lot of five. Thank you, Tina. You are correct. You get a rubber ducky in the mail. Dr. Derek. Dr. Derek, you're up. Go ahead. I caught him right off guard. O mail, O net, O staff, O connect, O dit. Oh my God! Way to go, Doctor yes. Derek. <laughs> and and said with an amazing, amazing voice. Uh, okay, now let's see. Now, this is a little bit difficult. You might have to think about this one. Please don't Google it. I'd like you to try and estimate what you think you know about this. So how many unicorn companies are there in the world? How many in unicorn the companies are there in the world? And I'd like you to really sort of think about, yeah, how many do you think there is rather than Google it? All right. It looks like Kevin and Key has his real hand up. Kevin's got his fake hand up. So we'll go with Kevin first, then Key. Because I don't see, oh, and there's some more. Then Joyce. Hey, you know what? Hold it, Kevin. You're looking at a computer. No, it's no, blurring no. off your forehead. I can see it. <laughs> well, my, my computer is on, but I don't have the No, I just know there's several hundred. I, I don't know a specific number. All right, then I'm going to go with Joyce. That's incorrect, Kevin. You're going with me. <laughs> That's funny. My hand is up. Well, <laughs> I <need to> guess. <laughs> proven Nancy's point. That's proven Nancy's point right there. <laughs> no, I had it up on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what was Unicorn. Kevin's guess? <laughs> many. He said several hundred. He so said several how many hundred. Unicorn say companies are there in the world? Ten. No. Thank 50. you for trying. <laughs> oh, Trevor. Hey, guys. So hey. my guess is around almost 1,200, like 1,180-ish. Incorrect. Thank you for trying. Tina. Harry? Um, I'm guessing um, I, know, I know a very good one in Singapore that's a unicorn company, but I think it's in the, um, around... The tree figure is somewhere around 800? Around 300? 800? Oh, no, incorrect. Thank you for trying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call, uh, since he hasn't said nothing, Abdua. 452. You look that up. Ow. <laughs> to, get it, to get it exact. <laughs> you know what it is, 452. Yeah, it's 400. I believe you. 
unicorn oh. companies. And those 452 <laughs> startups have a combined value of around $1.3 trillion, roughly equal to that of Apple, the largest listed company in the US in 2020. So 1.3 trillion from 452 unicorn companies, the same as equal as Apple. So I think Marty is going to dispute you because he was trying to say something. What were you going to say, Marty? Yeah, I'm trying to say something too. Sorry. It's, uh, I just looked it up. It's 600. I'm looking at something that says 851. Oh, oh my God. My, it, 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 my it's, computer. It's, well, hey. I'm just Googling it. You want to take it up? You take it up with Google. The most recent. <laughs> most recent. Yeah. It was Messenger. It was hey, I, it up in Google. I just looked it up. It's 842. Well, it's 452 in my Google. So like I said, don't shoot the Messenger. My really, really. <laughs> Crazy. You're from Australia. What can I say? <laughs> you're, you're, it's you're got to be right if it's from Australia, mate. There, there you go. You're you're right, Carol. You you're right. Okay. Four hundred and fifty-two. In two twenty-one, I know for sure. Uh, they added a really large amount. Uh, I yeah. think it was somewhere around around one hundred and fifty-six. Um, starting in, with last December. Of 2020. Okay. I think what they did, why everybody's so confused, a lot of them are designated as a uniform company, but until they achieve a billion dollars, they're not qualified to be counted as a uniform. So you're right, Narelle. I just wanted to get your get you going a little bit <laughs> <laughs> just to tease well, you I, the hair but well, I, still, I love you i love but you still, Willow, they do say you. if you if you google it it'll come up 842 yeah. that yeah. they're not proven as yet some haven't no. even hit the road like that's right classes. so maybe next time i'll be more specific as to <laughs> have they actually been approved yeah, well, they, enter, they are speculating that they'll as soon as they open their doors, like on passive, they're yeah. going to be. Well, it might drop down once on passive launches anyway, don't you think? Absolutely, they, they won't, drop, yeah. they won't be able down. to catch the train. Yeah, exactly. So, really yeah. for you, Narelle. what site are you looking at? <laughs> Google. Oh, you just, I mean, I'm looking at a site called cbinsights.com. Oh, yeah, mate, I don't, I don't go into that. I don't go into that much trouble. Yeah. I just go, go and I was Google just curious something. As to what, if we all had the same site, what it would say. Well, yeah. um, the, the gentleman that answered it, uh, where is he? Um, he said 452, which was the answer that I got on Google. So I just Googled how many unicorn companies are there in the are there in the world because sometimes it depends on how you actually ask the question as well with google yeah. and you can come up with all sorts of different answers because yep. uh, super unicorn is different to unicorn we all know that but you know if you if you write things in there um or if you just write how many unicorn companies are there it'll come up different again because it, it you haven't put in the world you know what i mean like it, it right. just google google is a strange little um a platform which sometimes you have to play around with with the wording sometimes. A bunch um, of twits. It would be interesting if we all plugged in the same keyword from different locations around the world and see what we come up with. All right. Well, let's do that because I think that's a bit of fun. Okay. And I, I would like to see that. So if we just Google and say exactly the same words, how many unicorn companies in the world? How many unicorn companies in the world? I got that. Okay, from the asiabanker.com and it says 801 as at 20 August 2021 <clears throat> and it says um, that the accumulated valuation amounts to 2.6 trillion dollars according to the asiabanker.com can you Dr. use Peter, google Dr. Dr. Peter Peter? says drink a beer <laughs> Tina can you use google 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's Google. It's from Google. As okay. soon as I, I, I put in the, the exact uh, sentence that you were saying, how many unicorn companies in the world 2021, um, that's what I got. The AsianBanker.com uh, states that there's um, 801 unicorn, uh, unicorns company and the cumulative valuation is $2.6 trillion dollars. As at 20th August, 2021, that's the latest one. I've right. got two, yeah, I've got two, two websites that say the same, that says this, uh, giving the same data. I want to hear Dr. Derek. I, I, I'm looking at CB Insights and it says um, as of October 2020, 2021, there was over 800 unicorns, but it is wow. great. But they mm -hmm. said variants too. Uh, like a uh, decacorn is valued at over 10 billion at startup and a hectocorn will be valued at 100 million. So within that list of 800, there are some hectocorns and decacorns. So yeah. they are, I read that in a, they gave me a whole list of the uniform companies yeah. when I looked before and some of them were worth some. Big time money, <laughs> you know, and I think Elon Musk is is kind of fighting to get his foot in the door somewhere, and and uh, in one of his companies too. But there, there's so many variations here. You can't really nail it down to a unicorn company because there's other variants, like they're saying. Absolutely. I think that I think, I think that our passive is going to be a variant. I don't think it's going to be just a super unicorn. I think it may be in the hectocorn or the decacorn uh, yeah. classification. Yeah. The thing is, I think it, it opens up, sorry, Chris, it just opens up to people to show them what these companies are actually worth. You know, when you see mm -hmm. that there's X amount of companies that are unicorn companies, you know, but, uh, and then they go on from there, but, you know, how, what sort of impact is on passive going to have to those companies you know, um, is it going to impact how many unicorn companies there is? Um, you know, what are the value of Absolutely. these unicorn companies right now or ongoing and how how big that is? You know, when they say about dream big, you don't really know what you're looking at. Um, you really don't know what you're looking at, you know, because um, the amount of money or, or, you know, we don't like to always talk about the value money, you know, but you have a look at how much those companies are valued at. You know, I want to hear Dr. Derek. Dr. Yeah. Derek had his hand. Let me, Dr. Derek, what do you got to say about this? I've been trying to he's call you out. His his hand's been up that long. It's gone yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, losing. I'm losing a lot of blood. Um, the the 400 sound a little low. The the 800 would sound a little better. Um, for two reasons. One. A unicorn company is a company that from once it hits a billion dollars in revenue. That's it. That is how we, we, we classify a unicorn company from once they hit a billion in revenue. That's one. Two, when you look at the amount of billionaires in the world, it's approximately 2,700. And I did that research um, just maybe two months ago for a presentation. Um, and so it's approximately 2,700 billion years. Um, and so some people get the billion um, or become a billionaire, not with a business per se, but with a project. Um, and so the 800 would sound a little more plausible than 400. Okay, and Dr. Derek would know. So, anybody want to take it out with Dr. Derek? Wouldn't that be? Isn't the classification though? We're talking about not companies in business right now. We're talking about startups. And when they say no, 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 it's not startup. Startup don't mean that they're starting right now. You know. It's a unicorn what? startup, though, is a private company. And it's what it's valued at on, you know, within, I think they say 10 years, 
if they get to a billion within 10 years. So there's, there's a, another level of classification there. Uh, doctor, I, I'm, not, I'm not disputing what you say, but um, that's why I think that we're going to be far larger than they're predicting it to be. You can get a download the full list of unicorn companies in existence right now at CV Insights. However, <clears throat> some of them have dropped off the spectrum now, like Air, uh, B and B, and Facebook and Google have dropped off. They're no longer classified in the list. So th there's variants here that we're not talking about. I don't think you could come down and just say there's only four hundred thousand or five or six. <clears throat> there. They 851, they figure that is the total cumulative valuation. So what's what it's going to accumulate over the period of time that startup company from the time it starts up to the end time, you know, that it is being uh, evaluated. So when they, if they're worth a billion when they first start up, that's when they're classified as either a hectocorn or or a decacorn. That's just my interpretation, doctor. For God's sake, you're talking to an 81 woman, 80 year old <laughs> woman that doesn't half the time know what a real name is. So <laughs> forgive me. You know, Willow, I think you know a lot for uh, unicorn companies. So thank you, thank you for sharing all of that. It was, yeah. um, it well, is quite amazing to find out, you know exactly what's um what is a unicorn company and and what they need to be right. or or if they're pending you know if whether they're counted within those figures or not a woman invented that she was the first one. yeah you, i forgot but, what her name was doctor you probably know her, but she was the Narelle, one that, i think yeah. it was narelle walk on <laughs> yeah, i think she was a journalist darling <laughs> yeah but miss willow miss willow you are you are trying to read and at the same time, you are trying to understand what you are reading. And if you just take it, you, 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 you're trying to if ascertain. If I would see it from a perspective, say, doctor, of a, a person that is in business, you mean? No, no, no. I'm just saying that you are trying to ratify between Hector and all of these other things that you are seeing on what you're reading. So you are trying to read, and at the same time, you are trying to understand. But a unicorn is just a, a company, a startup company, that value over a billion dollars. So Facebook cannot go, Facebook is cannot drop off, or Facebook did not drop off. Yes, they maybe lose uh, um, $6 billion a um, couple of days ago. They got dropped off but the list. No, 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 no. They, they, they don't drop off the list because they they still have a revenue look, look, look at what a unicorn okay, company okay, I got is. you with the revenue part but they're yeah. not considered okay, we move on. a startup company anymore <laughs> thanks eric yes love lovely willow and dr derek maybe you can take this up and we we'll put a ring up and uh, <laughs> i'll meet you I'll we'll put a kang kangaroo in the ring with you but look, it, it really is uh, open to debate as to um, what exactly, who is who and how many there are. Um, this is a fun night with trivia questions. So let's just keep it lighthearted for now. But thank you so much. And understand, Willow, I know, you know, some things fire us up and get us going because, you know, we try to understand exactly what they mean. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the next question. And that is, what black spread do Australians have on their toast for breakfast? <laughs> I know, another Australian one. I just had to make it a little bit funnier. Eric. Uh, Eric. Veg Vegemite. It is Vegemite. And Eric, have you ever tasted it? No. Okay. Do you know what it tastes like? Uh, like, no. do you, have you heard? No. William, no, I, just, I just know from the song. Yeah. A Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> I know that song you're talking about, Eric. Sing it for me, Eric. Come on. Give me a tune. <laughs> yeah. 
That was a good song, man. Back in my day, I love that song. Yeah, you start me off, Chris, and I'll follow along with you. I'm trying to think of the words, man. Do you want but, a Vegemite sandwich? I know, and I can't. That's... <laughs> oh. Yeah. You better take cover. That's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're, we're definitely good gonna song. Start. Good song. Yeah, man, yeah. It was a good song. <laughs> uh, is there anybody here who has actually tasted Vegemite? Really? Come on, we like guys. Meat. We like meat over here, Norell. <laughs> yeah, but Vegemite is a... Oh, you've tried it, Tina? Um, yes, and I didn't like it. And I was yeah. only thinking, why why, why do my... Why in heaven does my kids like it like them? <laughs> Vegemite is actually a, a... I think it's high in vitamin B. However, yeah. um, it's similar, similar to, say, Promite or Marmite. Only Vegemite has a has a taste of its own. And the thing is, what people don't understand is when you have it in, on your breakfast, they think they've got to lather it on like jam or honey or things like that. But it's best on white bread, <laughs> white bread, which is the worst for you, um, some good fresh butter and Vegemite on either toast or ah. sandwich or things like that. But you only spread it on very lightly. You know, a jar of Vegemite could last you like a year or two <laughs> um, because that's how lightly you put it on. Um, I was in my yes, so. when I first tasted it, and Sorry. I was a little, little tipsy, willing to try anything at the moment. I like to die. I never, I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth for a month. <laughs> Please try to get it out, Willa. It, it, it oh. is very strong, Willa. Maybe but it, give up drinking. You know, <laughs> it's bad. Hey. Hey, we have the powers. <laughs> All righty. So what was the first feature-length animated movie ever released? What was the first feature-length animated movie ever released? I'm going to go with William DeLorme. William. He just wants to put his hand up. Oh, no. Mouse. Mickey Mouse. No. See, see what you get for cheating, Richard? Right. You're wrong, William. Next. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Who haven't I called on? Okay, I'm going to go because Eric's killing it. I'm going to call Harry. <laughs> Harry. I'm going to say Avatar. Oh, God, no. Come on. First ever? First ever? Right. Listen to that the whiskey question. I'll answer it. What was the I don't first, have an answer. What was the first feature length animated movie ever released? The first. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, Eric. I know you know, but I'm not calling you. <laughs> I'm going to call, uh, let's see, who haven't I called? Uh, okay, Lystra, she has an answer. Well, go ahead, Lystra. Bugs Bunny. Incorrect. Thank you for trying. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go with Key Wendell. Mr. Magoo. Oh, I love that show, Key, but no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Kevin Rutledge. Dreamboat Willie. Who? Dreamboat Willie. Make no, no. Thank you for trying. All right, Eric, go ahead. Snow White. And? The Seven Dwarfs. Thank you very much for getting that. You're correct. welcome. You know, what'd you do? Get all, the end, get all the questions from Eric today or what? <laughs> he, he owes you so many founder uh, positions, Chris. Gosh. <laughs> you know. Google says Steamboat Willie. Oh, 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 Kevin, don't. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, don't do that to us right now. Okay, Chris, uh, next week you do all of the trivia so that we get them right. <laughs> I tell you. Okay, I got one. Everyone put your hands up. I don't want anybody touching the computer. Hands up in the air. Come on, hands up in the air like you just don't care. You remember that? Hands up in the air. How many different languages, roughly, how many different languages are in the world? Keep your hands up. Scream it out. Oh, you got to turn your mute button off. First. 188. What was that, Lisa? 188. No. 72. 188. Polly? 1,568. No. Let's no <laughs> okay. try, though. Does that, does that include dialects? Yes. 
I was gonna say there's 800 in Papua New Guinea. She had a wiggle with her head and everything. <laughs> Chris, does that include dialects? Sure, it does. 969. Yes. What? 969. No. Next, Marty. He's cheating. Look at him. 3,000. 3, what? 3,000. No. Not even close. Lynn Nakamoto. Gosh, I don't know. How about 555? No, see, there's a girl that's not cheating. Very good, Lynn, but no. <laughs> uh, who haven't I called? Collins. 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 1,916. Millions? No. <laughs> uh, okay, Tina, go ahead. I know there's more than a thousand dialects in India alone, so this, that is definitely a four-figure uh, to say. I would reckon with Chinese and with even with Malay and Indonesia, we're probably around five, six thousand. Close, very close. Tim Dillon? Uh, I haven't got a clue. Ten thousand. I cheated. I know the answer. Six thousand <laughs> seventeen. Who cheated? Lisa. Lisa cheated. I know the answer. What is it? Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me give Wayne a shot at it first. I can see his glowing off his forehead, too. 6,500. You are correct. <laughs> you know, you guys, I want you to realize something. You cheated first. You, got, you guys, I want you to all realize something. If, if back in the day, most of us were around the same age, some a little longer, some a little older. Can you imagine if we had a a phone like we have today in school, I would have I would have graduated with honors. I really would have. <laughs> now you think so? <laughs> Jim, James, yes, I want to mute you if you do go out of turn again. <laughs> so I'm getting another question. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. How many happening? licks? How many licks does it take? To get to the center. Oh, no, of the no, 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 wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait. wait. finish. What year did it come out in? Can you repeat oh, my it? God. Repeat the question. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? And what year oh, did it come out in? Oh, my, that, that's an old ad. 1971. Are you sure? It was a guess. Well, I, I don't even know. Anybody really know? <laughs> no, but I say 1968. I don't know. I would say, I I'd say a someone go, Tim Dillon. What kind of bird did the commercial and how many licks did he take? Ooh, that's, that's our next question, Key. Hold on to that. You're asking that next. What was it, Tim? Oh, God. 1970. It is 1970? Yes. All right. All right, Key, ask that question now. What kind of bird was it that did the commercial and how many licks did he take? Oh, but who was it? What do you it was an owl, and it was one because he went. <laughs> no, nah, it was a three. It was, it was an owl, and he did three. Three. See, I don't even have all to right, know the answer. All right. I have a question. Go ahead, Lisa. What is greater than God? More evil than the devil? The rich want it, and the poor have it. My ex-wife. <laughs> 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 and no. fifth, oh. graders, fifth graders answer this question quicker than adults say it again what's greater than god more evil than the devil the rich want it and the poor have it there's no one greater than god that's the answer i was going to switch it and say what's greater than on passive and and you would have answered it right then Holly nothing Very nothing good. is the answer nothing is greater than god nothing is more evil than the devil the rich want for nothing and the poor have nothing very, very good. good lisa bit of a tongue twister 360 Nora, Nora, i think i like this better let's see what, what kind of questions we can get out of these guys yeah i have right. one chris go ahead william uh, what what happens when you have a wonderful uh, uh, 
what is a wonderful marshmallow day? <laughs> what is a wonderful marshmallow? The launch of Impassive. A lime margarita and a day off from work. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Every day. No. Here's a butter question for you. Jim? What else? Jim? No. Did you, you raise your hand, Jim? First. Oh, yeah, okay. and Will, I don't think anybody's answered William's question yet. William, are you, you, this is a true question? Yes, it's true. Okay, Ed, can you please ask again so people can understand what you're saying? What is a wonderful marshmallow day? Oh, what is a wonderful marshmallow day? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm sure that everybody knows that. I know it. So Does anyone else about? beside me know that answer? Tim Dillon, Cynthia Brown. Cynthia Brown, come on down. You're muted, darling. I learned from low battery. Uh, no. Every day. No. Every day? No. I already said that. No. Polly? <laughs> Actually, I have a question. I didn't have an answer for right, that you're one. Not, you're okay, going to have a question Polly. first. I didn't need the poly. <laughs> All right. William, say it again. Uh, William? What is a wonderful marshmallow day? Come on, guys. What is a wonderful marshmallow day? I'll take a shot at it. Yeah. Okay, Chris, go. Uh, a, a winter day with snow? No. No? Oh! Hey, how about, how like about October 16? No. Uh, I'll give you the answer. All founders. There you they go. Found the day. There we go. Beautiful. We're all looking forward to Marshmallow Day. So I believe that Polly had a question. James, if you had one, can you please put your hand up? I just can't see you right there. Yeah, Polly's um, first. Polly, okay. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, Dr. Derek, I don't want you to put your hand up, but maybe I'll change my question. I'll ask it another time because he might answer, but okay, I'm going to ask right. a different one. <laughs> But we've just, we've just thrown, thrown Dr. Derek into the corner. He can't answer the question. Everybody okay. else needs to put their hands down. Yeah, no, yes, Cynthia, put your hands down, Cynthia. <laughs> James is going to Yeah. Okay, here's okay. my question. Can I ask it now? Go yes. ahead. Go ahead, Pat. Okay. What? Oh, okay. What year? And what? country sure. no wait hold on i should have wrote it down hold on give me a second what Would okay you it down polly sorry <laughs> what what year um was the olympics in in canada that's a good one anybody know that one Harry, hands you know, over, hands over your ears, I don't Dr. know, Harry. 1968. Nope, Lisa, 1972. Nope, Marty, and actually, I should be more specific. Um, yeah. Winter Olympics, the Winter Olympics. Oh, ah, sorry, I forgot to say that part. I knew I should have written it down, but Tim yeah, Dillon, Tim Dillon, 1980. Nope. Key Wendell, 2004. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mar wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, Kim stop. Dylan. Okay, look at Lucky. Here comes Lucky Eric. It. Eric? 84. Yep. Eric's got some beaming eyes on that computer. I can see it on his forehead. No, there ain't nothing um, on my computer. It's all in here, bud. <laughs> 1984. Was that correct, Polly? Nope, it was nine. Should I say it now? No, no, not yet. Oh, Trevor's got the second part of the question, too. So that's the first part. Thank you. Trevor, what year? Uh, I wasn't guessing the year. I had a question. Uh, okay, thank you. Key, I got a question. Seven. Okay, thank you. Anybody else know? Anybody? Uh, 1989. Uh, Collins? 1989. That's 85. Nope. 88. 
Cindy, yes. you can't even cheat right. Yes. 1988. <laughs> the Winter right. Olympics. Close. I was close. Yeah. That's the second question. And what Caribbean country um, won the bobsled? Oh, that one's easy. Oh, yeah. that was a movie on that one. It was a good I one. know. I didn't want a certain person. That was to a fantastic movie. It was. It was. She I met them, actually. I met away. them. I loved it. I, I absolutely met them. Away. One of my right. favorite. She gave the yeah. answer away right when she says someone's name. I know. I all right, somebody call it out. I know y'all know it. Jamaica. It Jamaica. Jamaica. Yay. Jamaica. I that actually met those movie. guys. I that ate them out. That was a good movie. You met him, Polly? You got to meet him? I Yeah. It was uh, cool. one of my friends' friends in there, so I actually met them and had dinner with them at my oh, friend's house. That's pretty cool. That's a cool story. Yeah. You never told us that before. There's so many things I haven't told you. <laughs> you I'm waiting. Uh, Wait I'm for waiting. Julie and Milo. <laughs> yeah, save that one for there. Oh, yeah, okay. I should write that down. Thank you. Has everybody yeah. seen that movie? Like, that movie was just... It was good. It was, yeah. it was good. Yeah. All right, James, you have a question, sir? Yes, I do. Thank you for Thank following you. the rules, James. <laughs> First question, <laughs> how tall is Chris? Second question is, it's about butter. What else can butter to be made of that's very famous in Canada? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, Squirrel juice, I don't know. Um, all Canadians should know this one. What, what was the question? Make, I what don't else can know you make it, butter with? James Bell. <laughs> what? Hang on. James, how just ask the questions it? again, please. Okay, the first question was how tall is Chris? The second question is three what foot. Is how, <laughs> what? <laughs> the second, second question, question. The second question is what else is butter made of? And is very popular in Canada. Lard. <laughs> All right. I reckon we should give Tiana a go at this. She's got a hand. Pork. Where's Tiana? Lard is pork. Nope. Tiana, go ahead, Tiana. We haven't given you a shot yet. You got her open to talk? Yeah, and then is she? Yeah, now she is. Yeah. Cool. Go ahead, Tiana. Tiana? Or Tiana, whichever. The okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what was the question again? Finally, yay. Okay, what was the question again? The question is, huh? is how tall is Chris for one? Two, what is another butter that is made in Canada that is very popular? Sussex. Sorry, another butter. Yeah. Okay, so how I tall think is Chris? that Chris is 5'9". Yeah. Yes, that's Rex. correct. And a different type of butter made in Canada. That's very popular. That's very popular. Okay, that one I don't know the answer to the second question. But I know that he's 5'9". That's my guess. Okay. Second one Thank I don't you, know. Tiana. How do you say... <clears throat> interpreter, tell <laughs> Tiana... <clears throat> I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> Harry, you should know this one. Good, uh, I, don't. Uh, I haven't got a clue. Come on. Nope. Don't know. Know. Huh? Buttercream. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I, I don't even. Well, you. James, I is it. Can I have a guess? Is it goat's, yes. nope. goat's um, butter? No. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Is it nut butter? Like peanut butter and almond butter and all of those you're, kind of butters? You're getting close, Willow, but not, but no. Apple butter. You got her, Marty. You got what? it. You look at him. He's looking at his computer. What is My it? God, Marty. Apple butter. Apple Never butter. heard of it. Sorry. Never heard of it. That's my favorite. I just had some this morning. Me either. <laughs> ah, I... apple butter. Not me. Very interesting. Is that, is that, um, okay, apple butter. Uh, never heard, heard of it. James, is that like a um, a spread? Like uh, we yes. we make over here, like lemon butter or passion yep. fruit butter. That's what it's called. But it's like a sweet spread, like a jam, but it's not a jam. Yep. If you know what I mean, right? Yeah. It's like okay. brown. It's Beautiful. brown. And oh, that bread. Apple butter. Yum. 
It's delicious. Yeah, it sounds nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. made with green apples, of course. That's really interesting. Oh, yeah, for apple butter, huh? Yeah, it is. What has, what has yeah. hey, Daryl Robert? Did what? you ever hear of that? Yeah, where's Daryl? He's there, somewhere. I see him. Okay, Tim Dillon. Have you ever Tim heard Dillon. of apple butter? Yeah. Uh, yes, I've heard of apple butter, and <laughs> it is made from all kinds of apples. Yep. Yeah, I've heard, heard of it. Uh, garlic butter too. Uh, in my well, area, where oh, I live, garlic butter is popular anywhere, right? For yeah. garlic apple butter, where I live where I live apple here. Apple cider is very that's, popular. That's really good. Yeah, very popular. Hard and the same apples that are used to do the cider get turned into apple butter. Um, that I never heard of. I really haven't. Honestly, I I apple cider. Ooh. If it, if you keep it long enough. It can get pretty potent. Yeah. yeah. Well, Harry, you're going to have to hard side. Is apple, apple butter something you buy on off your supermarket shelves, or is it just something oh, yeah. you buy? Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Yes. Okay. It has a lot of cinnamon it's in It's like it. a brown spread. Yeah, like yeah a, lot not, of, not, a lot of cinnamon. They, they don't spice. have it over here, Cynthia. So I just wondered yeah. whether it's yeah, a, a normal, uh, everyday yeah. spread. Or, what yeah. store here in Canada has it? Zares. No way. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at Superstore and Zares, and because we got the Superstore. Well, then you'll okay. find it. Okay, I'm gonna look for it. Harry, we want to hear about it next time when you do find it. <laughs> I make my own. Yeah, yeah. Lemon butter is uh, the same over here. It's it's, it's better just if you make really it. good. I it's like a Smucker's oh, apple butter. Yeah. Is that like a different kind? Smucker's. Uh, Sorry, Diana. It's very good applesauce. Smuckers, apple butter. It's you got it. Yeah, you Smuckers. got it. Yep. Smuckers. That was Tiana. Thanks, Tiana. Yeah, yeah, it was Key, Tiana. Yeah. Key window, you got a question? I got a riddle. All right. Oh, riddle me this. If I have a bee in my hand, what do I have in my eye? I, if I have a B in my hand, what do I have in my eye? A bullseye. Hmm. Anybody? Probably teardrops. If I have a B in my hand, what do I have in my eye? Eye in my eye. If I have a B in my hand, what do I have in my eye? A hive. A wine. A sty. Anybody close? Nope. A sty. A bee. A bee. Bang. If I have a bee in my hand, what do I have in my eye? A bee. A, a bee in your hand. Yeah, B E E. Mm. Uh, mm. Give up. You have a bee in your eye too? Nope. That's, yeah, that's what you see. The sting. Um, you ready for the answer? A tear. Yeah. You have a tear in your eye. Nope. Pam, go ahead, Pam. Pam. A C. No. You see with your eye? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's good. Pam, yes. wow. <laughs> that's pretty good, Pam. That's really good. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else? All right, Key, bust us. That was beauty. hard. <laughs> well, what key? The answer is beauty. Beauty is in the hand of the beholder. Oh. <laughs> right, Juan. Chris, note to self. Don't ask Boo. me if you want to do the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to go out to dinner with him now or not. Uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris, I like that, Key. That was nice. Chris that was good fun. Chris yeah. just, just makes an apple bottle. I'm there. Yeah, right I'm right over my head. Kevin, did I hear Kevin say he's got one? I got a quick riddle for you. Go ahead. What belongs to you, but everybody else uses it? 
My advice. Your name? Your name. Your name. Your name. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Joyce yeah. Hicks, would you like to come on down and ask your question, please? The beautiful Joyce Hicks. Of course she Stunning. is. Amazing, beautiful, creative, intelligent. And Joyce she fell Hicks. asleep. She fell okay. asleep. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. We'll come back to you, Joyce. You probably ducked to the loo. Oh, Trevor. Oh, Trevor Peters, if you would like to ask your question, please. All right. Maybe it's just me. Willow. Willow, give us a question. How many unicorn companies? <laughs> Sorry. No. No. She's muted. Willow, you're muted. <laughs> That's funny, Narelle. Willow, go ahead. You're muted. Oh, I don't have a question. Willow, you're 81 years old. You've got to have <laughs> questions of something. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. If you have a mule, can it reproduce? On my way. If you <laughs> no, have he's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Not a riddle. It's just a question. No, you can't reproduce. Right. Wow. I had a person ask me that because I'm I I have a five gated mule, and she's beautiful. And he asked me how much of, you know one of her offspring would be, and I said probably a fortune. It probably cost you more money. Than <laughs> offspring would be worth, but a mule cannot reproduce. You're right. I couldn't what? think anything. You had put me on the spot. Chris. That's right. That's I'm going to put someone else on the spot. Really? Watch this. I'm going to the bleachers now. Let me see. Okay. Uh, someone who I've really seen a lot is someone's mom, Christina Dodds. Are you there? I know yeah, you got a question. Before too. Yeah. Well, she's been around. She's she's actually everywhere. I see her now. Christina, you got any questions you can trick us with? I can't see her now. She's in the bleachers. Ah, She's okay. there. Okay, we'll come back to you. Henry Horn. Henry Horn, give us a question. Ah, they're all falling asleep. I'm <laughs> trying to get myself muted, unmuted. <laughs> I've been trying to get myself Hi, muted for years. I can see someone in the dark. So what's the question? <laughs> you give us what a question. What kind of question do you want me to ask? Anything that'll confuse us more than we already are. <laughs> Except what, how do you tell a boy from a girl bird? Don't ask that yeah. question. You know anything about sex and a parrot? No, can't Kevin. Think, and you can't think anything right now. Stand in the corner. Can't okay. think anything right now to stump you all. <laughs> all right, I'm coming back to you, Henry. You got three minutes. All right, Joe I'll Godson. Be ready. Joe Godson, you got something for us, Joe? Joe Goodson. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I see someone in the shadows. I see a hand. You don't have nothing, Joe. You can ask a simple question, Mike, you know. What uh, how tall is somebody or Joe you know, might be Joe might be um I have a question. Oh who go is ahead. Here? Okay. Um you know in America you have the Veterans Day, but on the in the Commonwealth uh, nations we have Remembrance Day. It's a military question coming from a retired military guy, gal. So when is Remembrance Day? For what country? November. Um, um, the countries in Commonwealth uh, countries should know it. They, uh, I know, um, and they have Anzac Day for Australia and New Zealand. And veterans Day for Canadian, but um, this is probably um, in the Commonwealth country like Africa. Singapore is one of them. Um, mostly we have in the remembrance UK. Day here. 
um, Tina. We have Remembrance Day here oh, as well. Yeah. I, won't, okay. I won't give the date. You know, I won't give the date away in case it is. Um, but yeah. we do have it. Yeah. Any anybody? November eleventh. November eleventh oh. in Canada. Oh. Oh. Yep. Eleven. Eleven. That's right. That's yeah. right. Is that like Boxer Day in Bermuda too? Is that all the same? No, no, no it's, yeah. a, it's a Memorial Day for um, well, for the World War One. Yeah, yeah. Boxer Day, but it's kind of like that too. They get really crazy in Bermuda on Boxer Day. Uh, for three days they celebrate. <laughs> and that's how I know I was over there when they were celebrating. But it's kind of like our. Uh, they have these big dinners and everything, but it's kind of like our uh, when we celebrate uh, Labor Day. But uh, Boxer Day, okay. Boxer Day comes around Christmas over there. Yeah. So this is a uh, um, this one's a memorial service for you know, people yeah. who died. Um, died and the Australians got Anzac Day. Um, yeah. Here in Singapore, being a Commonwealth country, uh, we celebrate on the nearest Sunday. Um, on that day, pre-dawn, uh, pre-dawn um, uh, memorial day. Yeah, we celebrate on the day. So whenever it falls on the eleventh of the eleventh, yeah. um, yeah. I have my younger sister. She got married on the eleventh of the eleventh, two thousand and eleven, wow. and it was just so her husband can remember their anniversary. <laughs> so <laughs> 11, 11, 11. <laughs> 11, 11. It's pretty special, but yeah, Remembrance Day is certainly a uh, a day you know, to, um, you know, to take time out and remember those who have uh, lost their lives, their um, lives in, yeah. In, yeah. in all wars, really, you know, right. so and thank got, you, Tina. We've got about so 15 minutes pictures. left, 15 minutes left, guys, to put me out of my misery. So yep. yeah, I'm going to go with Harry, Key, William, and Marty. Harry, you go first. Okay, I got two questions. First question, how do you um, tell the sex of a chick? You like chickens? The, the chick, the breast. How do you tell? The um, thing across its nose, I don't know. Because I'm only saying this because my wife works at a chick hatchery. How do they <laughs> tell the sex of a chick? Because they've got a um, sex 102 chicks every two minutes. Oh my goodness. It's not the same as um, Marty's bird, is it? Like bring a magnifying glass. Tweezers. <laughs> I have no idea. I was gonna say you pluck it. <laughs> no, no. Because I never knew this until my wife told me she's been working in a chick hatchery for eleven and a half years, permanent nights, uh production crew. She's at work now. But they sex chicks by the wings. Mm. Really? Yep. Wow. Uh, uh, if I'm opposite, one of the wings are shorter and stubbier. Another set of wings are longer and narrower. And that's oh, when okay. they they grab the chicks under the wings and they'll know what sex they are. Wow. And I thought, so, I, myself, I thought I, they spread. <laughs> yeah, so, so is what's, what's what the male does. and what's the female? The, the wings. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I think... Um, Shorter, shorter and stubbier is the male, and longer and narrower is Hands the female. Right. Of course, correct. I, it could be the opposite way around. No, I, I, I always keep no, you're, getting, you're, but that's you're how right. they tell when they grab the chicks. They grab the chicks under the wings, and Excellent. they know what uh, what uh, sex they are. That's Does exactly it matter what correct. sex they are? Yes, big time. Yeah, well, why? Because they don't keep the roosters. The females are used for reproducing. Okay. Uh, and uh, the males are used, I hate, to, I hate to say it, they're used in exotic farms, snake farms, as I've feet. seen that. I did see that. All right. And okay. uh, no, they go there. zoos, Harry, farms, the males. Harry, did you have another question? Yes. And this is not for the Canadians. This is for every other country. Okay. Not, no, okay. Canadians can't answer this one. Right. What is the capital city of uh, Canada? Capital city of Canada. Toronto. No. <laughs> Montreal. Montreal. Wrong. Toronto. Ontario. Huh? No, that's the province. 
angry. Vancouver. No, nope. that's British Columbia. Toronto. No, nope. that's the capital of Ontario. My hand raised. Henry. That's it. Henry, do you know the answer? Do you Ottawa. Know the answer? Ottawa. Suzanne. Ottawa. Ottawa, yes. The, Whoever said Ottawa is the capital of uh, Canada. Ottawa. Ottawa, I knew that. Toronto is the capital of Ontario. There you go. Thank you very much, Harry. We're all getting very informed here, and even for <laughs> those who don't know anything about Canada. Because most people <laughs> think Toronto is the capital of Canada. It's okay. the biggest city. It's the biggest city in Canada, and uh, they always think, "Oh, Toronto, yeah, Toronto, no, Ottawa." Yeah. Ottawa was yeah. a pretty big city anyways, same, too. Ham's meeting place on the 16th. Huh? Okay. What, Rich? I actually have an on-passive question. Go hey, ahead, Key. Fantastic. Please, we want to hear please it. Key, help me. Help me, Key. I'm dying. <laughs> I see people post sometimes how many countries on-passive is actually legal in. And... I've read, I've looked it up and, you know, we say 200 and something when I think there's only 195 countries. How are we coming up with 196 that countries? Yep. Yeah. It's territories too. Yeah, provisions. So what's the, and, um, countries, what I, not, I'm saying countries, how many yeah. countries are on earth, not territories, not provinces, not you know, how many countries just Quote, unquote, countries. How many? 94. Okay, so why are we this saying over 200? Because they count. 249 countries is in the world. Go ahead, Derek. Tell them why, Derek. 249 countries in the world. Derek, tell them why we have. Say, say that again, Derek. How many? 100 what? Two. 249. 249 countries in the world. Canada because Canada. the. the, the they, they are looking they are looking at Jamaica as a country. We know it as an island, but they are looking at it as a country. Trinidad is a country. We might be looking at it as an island, but they are looking at it as a country because it is it is an independent country. It has its own flag. So from once so from once you 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 gain independence from whoever you whoever you were, as it were, um, tied to. Like, we were, we were tied to the British. And most Caribbean islands were tied to the British. Right? Yeah. But they are now, we are now a, a country by ourselves because so we are independent. To, what's the number? How many countries? 249. Are, you're saying 449? Like two hundred, two hundred, two hundred forty nine, two four nine, two four nine. Okay. Some some places that you go on the internet says two fifty. Okay. Some places when you when you research it, some places say two fifty, some say two forty nine. I I go with two forty nine. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Each one has their own flag. Ah. Uh, Nobody said Ottawa. Uh, yeah, somebody huh? said Ottawa. You're you're late, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said Ottawa. Who said it? Who yeah, said it? I didn't hear I it. I don't know who did. It was one or two that said it. Oh, okay. you know, Chris, I uh, found a position. Thank you very much for playing today. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Thank you, Key. That's really interesting to know because. Um, one of the things, and I know Marty's just gone now, but one of the things that I want you to think about is, or if you do have an answer is, we say that we're legal and compliant in 212 countries, but I don't believe that that is so. I think we're legal and compliant in both Florida or the USA and India, yeah, but so. we fall under being uh, compliant in other countries, not necessarily legal. Um, I know there's terminologies around that, but if anybody has anything with that, because I always say that we're uh, legal and compliant and we're in over 212 countries so um, basically I wanted to sort of cover my own butt because of the legalities around that because you can't be saying that we're legal and compliant in these countries if that's you know what I mean like the terminology really sort of gets to me because I know that um, 
you know, place, uh, there might be other companies that say they're uh, legal, like in Australia here, we can say, oh, something here is legal, um, but in America, it doesn't have to have come under the same legalities. I know that's an in-depth question and I don't want any answers, you know, unless you really sort of know, but I just wanted to ask Marty that tonight in, because it's something that I think we should all be aware of when we're saying that, that we're not just legal and compliant, but we are legal and compliant in both uh, India and Florida. And um, just be aware of your wording around that when you do say it. So um, just to have a think about that because um, it is a question I will ask Marty or, or somebody in the round table. <laughs> um, you know, because I think we're getting so close now, legalities are very important in how we say things. So, uh, okay, Henry Horn, would you like to ask a question? If you're there, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. So my question is like, when we all acquire this um, wealth that we're gonna all acquire, which countries are going to treat us the best? That's my, my curiosity at going forward. Is that where can we all meet up and, uh, and do the things that we want to do and have fun and corroborate? So that's basically it. Henry, have you met up with um, other people around your area there? I'm pretty close to Marty Gagarmo, but I haven't met up with him yet. Yeah. So, Are but I've been, a found, I've been a founder for over two and a half years. Excellent. Congratulations. But I love the, I love the company. I love Ash. I, I've been, yeah. um, I believe that his vision from the very beginning, I've been all in. Like, I don't know if anybody is a poker player, but I played a lot of uh, Texas Hold'em in the past. <laughs> I've been all in since the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah, no, it certainly is uh, exciting times ahead, you know, so as for, for, particularly for those who have been in longer, you know, like I said, I'm only coming up for my one year anniversary this coming Sunday on the 10th of October for me here. But, you know, for those who saw the vision and, and followed through and followed Ash and his journey and his vision along the way, uh, congratulations to each and every one of you because you are true, truly uh, strong, you know, uh, individuals for uh, seeing that vision firstly, but also uh, following through and staying and, and being a stayer, <laughs> you know, because many people opt out and go, nah, I'm not gonna wait. Um, but they're not the visionary. So, but thank you for that uh, and sharing that, Henry. Well, my, my vision is to get together with all the founders around the world yeah. Yeah. and uh, start to travel and, and uh, meet everyone. And well, uh, if you're coming into Australia, you best. might have to be a football player or a cricket player or something. So otherwise they won't let you in. <laughs> <laughs> well, things um, are going to change uh, next year. Yeah. yeah. Things are going to yeah. change. And uh, things are going to get better and better yeah. and better. And so we all have a lot to look forward to as, uh, as, as things change. So yeah. everyone should be positive and think about the future. And it's going to get amazing. It's going to be amazing. It is. It is. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Henry. Um, I'd love to hear more from you one day, but we're running out of time. I know Chris and a lot of you are getting tired. You've probably been on, you know, 10 webinars today. Uh, we've got three more hands up. And I think I'm going to take Christina first because we asked Christina before to come forward. Um, Christina, if you'd like to speak before the gentleman. Okay. Hi, everyone. I was eating. So um, this is what I want to know. What has a tongue but does not talk, has four legs but does not walk? What has the time? A watch. A what has a watch but has no time? A lighthouse? No. What has a tongue? Tongue. But does not talk. You know, talk. Has four legs but does not walk. Four legs. 
Anybody? Table. Tongue. Does a table have a tongue? No. No. Suzanne, Will did you I... have an answer, Suzanne? Wagon. Yes, Willow. All right. <laughs> Susan comes out at the last and boom. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get the answer. Answer's wagon. Wagon. A wagon. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't know. Yeah, I don't you know. Guys, wagon has wagon legs. Australia. <laughs> Hang on while I put on my dumb look. <laughs> Good one. All right. Okay. Will and Jim, come on. For me? Go, Jim, go, you... Jim, go ahead. Then we'll do William last because we started off with William. Might as well finish with William last. Go, Jim. All right. Oceans. What country has the most oceans surrounding it, and can you name them? For God's sake, why don't you give us a, a college question? <laughs> Come on. Canada. Yes, but can you name the note? Can you name the ocean? Atlantic? Yep. Pacific? Yep. yep. Atlantic uh, Pacific. What's the other one? Uh, there's lakes, but anybody got a guess for that third one? Atlantic. Uh, Aleutians? Nope. Antarctic? Nope. Indian? Nope. Antarctic's in the, in the Red Sea. Arctic. You got it. Arctic. That was the one I was going to say. <laughs> the Arctic Ocean. Yeah. That's All why right. it gets freezing cold there. Eh? Yeah. William. The only country that has the most oceans. Yeah. Cool. William, go ahead. Hello. Uh, I'd like to ask a question since you were talking about Remembrance Day. Uh, the Highlanders, uh, they were in uh, D Day and uh, British and uh, they lost a lot of lives and they wore a kilt and uh, they had a nickname for them. What was their nickname? Anybody? Nobody? We give up, William. What is it? The girls from hell. <laughs> girls from hell. A very nice nickname. <laughs> uh -huh. I wore a kilt. Essex and Kent Scottish. Scottish. All right. All right. Cynthia take home, her take hand home. Up. Come on, Cynthia. One. Oh, we got Cynthia. One more, Cynthia. Come on. What is more fantastic than a talking dog? A whistling cat. No. <laughs> what is more fantastic than a talking dog? Anybody? Laughing donkey. Miss Come on. <laughs> No. See the donkey laugh. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> Tina? Tina, go ahead. I said Mr. Ed, the talking horse. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sherry Durswitz, turn away. I just want to say, I'm passive. <laughs> That's inside my brain. Nope. <laughs> Anybody? Hey, Tina. It is, really is, though, but no. Wait, what, what was that, Tiana? Deanna just said something. I didn't a hear barking it. lounger. No. <laughs> give up? I give up. It yeah, I give up. A spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Good on you, Cynthia. I like Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I hope you have had a fantastic night. 
Uh, like I said, I know that you've all come off of plenty of webinars throughout your day. It's my lunchtime or just gone lunchtime. So it's time for me well, to head off and do a few things. We do have our Aussie Girls and a Kiwi Go webinar this evening, which is your 5 a.m. if you're Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I know that you don't necessarily have to come along um, because we're looking at, you know, creating a, a platform for guests and things like that. So I just wanted to share that with you. It is in... Uh, Ogo Theory's upcoming webinars, I think. Um, but yeah, it's 5 a.m. EST time, or in Australia, it's um, uh, 5 p.m., 7 p.m. You know, we've just changed over to daylight savings here, and we've gone from having three times to one, two, three, four, four uh, different time zones now, all over the place. It's, it's absolutely crazy. But anyway, um, we want to thank you one and all. Uh, thanks again. I'll try and have some more um, harder questions for you next time, but also on passive questions. Have a think about, you know, are you, are you plugging into your or logging on, on to your um, on passive.com site and having a look around? Also your back office, go in there at least once a day and just have a peek around and see what's happening in Leadership Council or upcoming webinars. Stay plugged in, you know, stay focused, stay with um, connecting with us all. I love these times together. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I know Chris does as well. And uh, it's good just to come on, have some fun. Uh, Chris hates, Chris doesn't like any one of us, um, but that's okay. <laughs> um, he's got tunnel vision just for Marty. We understand that. <laughs> but yeah, we, we want to thank you all. It really has been fun. And like I said, we just don't want to make it another presentation even though they're fantastic and we love the fact that people are stepping up and getting stronger in who they are by doing presentations that is hugely important but there are, are different webinars for that as well so Chris and I just want to have fun like I said we don't even talk before this we just know what we're doing we just connect that way so um, you can unmike if unless you've got something else to say Chris yeah Robin Noble's texting me saying she's got a question I'm trying to bring her in Ah, okay. Robin? <laughs> Robin. It'll be something about some country or, or a cruise or something. <laughs> she declined to be on the panel. Yeah, five probably. times for me. I tried. <laughs> Let me see. She knows we got a... Okay, she Robin, don't want to come in. where are you? We got a meeting in 10 minutes. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll try to be funnier next week. It's, I tell you what, Wednesdays are the worst days for this, for me, for this show, because there's four, about 14 webinars on today. Did I get on all of them? No, it's impossible because a lot of them are on the same time. But Wednesdays are extremely busy in every part of the world, in every country, which is a good thing because we are spread out through the world. So um, yeah. I think yeah. um, what we did today. Uh, sorry, having those questions. But if you want to have a question next week, then get it prepared and we will bring you on as well. So, yeah. I get the tiara tonight. I answered every question. Where's my tiara? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I did Lystra. <laughs> it was me, Lystra. I didn't hear one, what, one, right, Lystra. You Eric, stop. You mean, Eric, Eric Cynthia Brown. Five, you man. stop. I answered every Eric. single one, Chris. Eric was five for five tonight. He's the champion. Yeah. And you, you I'm right behind him. Eric can't wear a hey, tiara. We're all one team. We're all one team. There you and, go, Eric. No, 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 no. We ladies like tiaras. Come on. Well, uh, yeah. the last tiara I seen on uh, a camera. Was on a cruise ship. <laughs> Good night, everybody. All right, guys. Uh, Good night, night everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. A lot of fun. Good night. A lot of fun. Good night. Love you. Good night. Good night. Oh, I better turn it on. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good night.